This video is going to look at how to calculate probability or how to calculate odds and expected value. So first example, Steve shuffled a deck of 52 cards and asked Sally to draw one card to start a magic trick. So when we talk about a deck of 52 cards, we are referring to a standard deck of playing cards. So if you don't know what's in a standard deck with the four different suits and all the different types of cards in it, Google it, look it up, maybe play some card games on your phone so that you're familiar with what's in a deck. So first question, we want to find the odds in favor of getting an ace. Now odds are a little bit different than probability because odds tell us the number of ways that something can happen versus the number of ways that something cannot happen. So if we're trying to get an ace, we need to know how many ways are there to get an ace in the deck. Well, there's four aces. So we say that there's four ways to get an ace. And then on the other side of the colon, we put the number of ways that we could not get an ace. So if there's 52 total cards in the deck, and four of those are aces, that means there's 48 cards left over. So we would say the odds of getting an ace, there's four ways to do it, and then there's 48 cards that are not aces. So there's a four out of 48, or four to 48 would be the odds. In contrast, if it says find the probability of getting an ace, we would put the number of ways to get an ace, which is four, divided by the total, which is 52. And so I wanted to put this odd versus probability problem side by side, just so you can see that with odds, we're putting the number of ways that something can happen versus the way the number of ways that it doesn't happen. Whereas in probability, we're putting part out of the total. They're representing the same information. They're just representing it differently. So you want to be really careful to see, is the problem asking for odds, which in this case it would be 4 to 48, or is it asking for probability, which in this case would be 4 out of 52. So the next example says, find the odds against getting a face card. So if we're trying to find the odds against getting a face card, we want to find the number of ways to not get a face card compared to the number of ways to get a face card. And I'm actually going to start with the second side of this first. Um, in a stack of cards, the face cards are the jacks, queens, and kinks. Those are the cards on deck that physically have a picture of a face on them. So Jack, Queen, and King for each suit are face cards. So there's three per suit, and then we have four suits. So there's 12 total face cards in a deck. So that's the number of ways that we could get face cards, but we're trying to find the odds against it. So we want to know how many ways are there to not get a face card. Well, if there's 52 total cards, 12 of them are face cards, that means there's 40 cards left. So the odds are 40 to 12 against getting a face card. All right, next example. The odds that you win a bowling tournament are 7 to 3. What is the probability that you win the tournament? So this one's going to take us from odd notation to probability notation. So in this case, this tells us the odds that we win is 7. So there's 7 ways to win versus 3, which tells us there's 3 ways to lose. So that tells us there's 10 total possibilities. So when we're trying to find the probability that we win, we would put the ways to win, which is 7, out of the total, which is 10. So if we say that the odds of winning are 7 to 3, that means the probability of winning is 7 out of 10. Since that told us there are 7 ways to win, 3, three, three ways to lose, which give us 10 total possibilities. So the probability we win is 7 out of 10. All right, one more example. So a cash prize of $2,300 is to be awarded at a fundraiser. If 2,300 tickets are sold at $7 each, find the expected value. So to find expected value, we need to list out all of the different outcomes or possibilities along with the probability that they happen. So with this raffle ticket, you buy a ticket. So let's say that you buy a negative $7 ticket and you don't win anything. Well, in which case you would go home empty handed, you don't win any money, so you've lost $7. Or the other possibility is that you buy your $7 ticket and then you win the grand prize of twenty or $2,300. So if that's the case, you bought your $7 ticket first and then you won the money, so you would actually be walking home at the end of the night with the $2,300 minus the seven that you already put into it because you had to buy the $7 ticket to even enter the raffle. So you, the outcome would be that you walk home with $2,293 extra dollars. Now it says they're giving out a cash price. That means only one of them. 
So that means one person out of these 2,300 tickets are going to win the big prize. So the probability of winning is one out of 2,300. And then the probability of not winning is everybody else. So that's 2299 over 2300. Okay, so we're listing out all the different outcomes and then the probability that the outcome happens. So then to get the expected value, what we do is we take each outcome times the probability. And formally, we would say that this is the outcome, which is x times the probability of x. You can see it written this way in the book. So we take each outcome times its probability. So losing $7 times the probability of losing $7. And then winning money times the probability of winning money. And then to get our total expected value, we sum all of the outcomes times their probabilities. So we take each outcome times its probability and then add them all together. So we get, make it look fancier. We get an expected value of, it's got it in parentheses here, that means it's negative six dollars. Um, sometimes Excel gets fancy and puts things in parentheses when they really don't need to be, but if Excel puts something in parentheses that means it's negative. So if you enter this raffle and you pay your seven dollar ticket, you should expect to lose six dollars in the raffle. So chances are you're not going to win money, but somebody will walk away with a good chunk of change at the end of the